This is a Steam and Gas Association. It was started over in the Miami County just outside of Troy in 1949. And this is our 70th year. It started out on a farm, a gentleman's farm just outside of Troy, Ohio. Everybody had their old steam powered equipment that was sitting in the barn and they decided to get out and just play with it one summer. And that created the Miami Valley Steam Treasury Association. We're just running uh, antique equipment like they did back in the old days. Just to show the young people actually what goes on. Mainly it's just a big hobby. Many steam engines here. There's 20 or 25 steam engines. Uh, about 300 tractors on the ground. This is our, our steam roller that we have. For a surprise, I went and bought it from my dad. It's a 1925. It was actually built in Ohio in Springfield. Got it off of the Rose Brothers down there in Asheville, Rose Brothers Clavey. You need to roll asphalt was what, was what this one was set up for. So I just bring it around and whenever the traction engines tear up the ground, I just go and level the ruts out and make the ground smooth again. This is a 1912 Baker steam engine. Many of you have probably been familiar with steam locomotives. Some of them were um, famous for pulling trains. Steam engines were also used for powering factories and even working on farms. Let's say you want to bale hay. This was your primary source of power. What we're looking at here is the flywheel. Now how do we get the flywheel to move? How do we run the steam engine? You need two things. You need water and coal or wood or some type of oil. Here we mainly burn coal on this steam traction engine. This is the back end of the boiler known as the bulkhead of the boiler. Below we have what's called the firebox. When the uh, fireman or the uh, person responsible for stoking the boiler puts up fire into that firebox, that's going to heat up the water in this boiler. It goes through these tubes up to the smoke box. The smoke then dissipates up through the smokestack. Now we have a thing here that's called the steam dome. Now the engineer, when he pulls on that throttle, that steam is going to go up through the steam dome, through this piston, down to the drive wheel, and some of the steam locomotive. It uses so much pressure as if it were a powerful steam pedal that that steam's going to go back and forth, boom, 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 making the motion and making the engine go. Now, steam traction engines, in addition to pulling cars or wagons, you could also be used to run, let's say you want to run a sawmill, or let's say you want to use it to run a hay bale, or basically an Ashcroft machine like you see here. And then these would be used to run conveyor belt lines like what you see in factories from the turn of the century. But you have to stand way back from it because that thing is so powerful that injuries can be involved if there's no care and safety. The best part about it for me is getting to shovel coal, running the boiler, and blowing the whistle and the throttle. We try to restore the past to educate the future is our goal. So all the young people need to come in and get interested in this so they'll know what their ancestors done in the past to make a living and to feed the world. People just look at this piece of junk iron and scrap it. And then uh, you got all the old folks on the equipment and when they die off there ain't too many uh, young people around. So what do we have to do to get people excited about these? Get them off the video games.
seeing the people year after year is what I like. It's a reunion. Reunion is actually in our official name, so it is a reunion annually. Thank you.